Hello everyone, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial on the two different ways you can apply my gradient socks and my rune tattoos. There's been a little bit of confusion uh, via IM and via some feedback that I've gotten on the marketplace, so I wanted to make this so that people can see how to apply it. There are advanced techniques to do this to make it look a little bit more complex. But there are also some very basic ways that you can do this. If you have a look in the instructions that come with the little rune and gradient kit here, there are instructions in here for the basic variety of how to do this. Now, if you haven't done any texture messing around with before, this could still possibly be confusing, which is why I'm going to do the little tutorial right now. So. First step we have to do is make a copy of the kimono body. Check, as you can see behind me there. I have resed it on the ground, and at this point I'm going to do right click and edit. I'm going to move these over for a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll discard that for a minute. So, I have it selected now. So you can see that I have all the faces of the mesh highlighted and selected. If we go over to the textures tab, you can see here that I'm able to click into the texture box here. So if I just minimize that for a second and do the runes, where did they disappear to? There we go. Okay. We'll do the gradient socks first because this is probably the one that induces the most panic when people see it. When you click on the gradient socks, you're going to see that most of your kimono disappears, and there's only going to be a few little solid pieces that show up. This is okay. This is the way that it's supposed to be. This is an extra body that is going to be worn over the one that you're currently wearing. So you see I have my kimono on at the moment right now. So if I click OK, it's going to look like the whole entire thing disappeared. This is all right. The alpha blending is doing its job. If I click this off right now, you can see I have, whoop, if I can zoom in a little bit, I haven't played this in a while. You can see that I've got little ghosty arms and hopefully little ghosty feet. No, because the, all right, we just reset the alpha layers here. There we go. Little ghosty feet. Little ghosty feet don't want to apply right now. Anywho, so we have the ghosty arms that you can see. This is because the texture is only actually partially here. That's the way that the gradient works. So now I should be able to change the color of the gradient here. So let me just make sure it's going to show up on this kimono and we'll make it like a blue color and click OK. Leave it as alpha blending. If you want to make it glow, go for it. This is the spot you can do it right here. If you want to up the transparency, if you pick a really dark color and you just want a little bit of the socks, you can up the transparency here. All right, so if we close this, we will now have blue ghosty hands. So if we take this, I'm going to name it really quick so that I know. I think this is the other one I was using. This is the blank one I was using, so let me We'll just name it Gradient so that I know where to find it when I take it back to my inventory. So what I'm going to do, take it, there we go, and then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to right click and add. And now you can see I have the blue gradient over my hands. Now at this point you can still edit this. You can still go in here, and you see I can go back to texture and I can change the color and stuff, and now I can edit it while it's actually sitting on my avatar. This is the point at which, if you wanted to, you could make it glow a little bit. Uh, this is transparency, obviously, so there you go. So that's how to do that little portion of it. Now, this is the really simple way, those are really bright, this is the really simple way to do this. You just wear this one over the kimono body that you have on. There are more advanced techniques that you can edit to put the runes and the gradient on a single body. So let me show you that right now. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to res it again. 
And by the way, if you remove the base body, or if you remove this one or anything like that, you might have to reset the alpha layers. Sometimes when you're wearing multiple bodies, the alpha layers try to fight each other. So if you're wearing it and it disappears for no particular reason, or if you put something else on that adds an alpha layer, just take this off and just put it right back on. Most of the time, the alpha layers will fix themselves. So now, this is the advanced technique to get both the gradient and the runes on the same one. You don't have to do this. If you don't have a very complex avatar, you can get away with wearing two of the bodies. You put the gradient on first, and then you make another one exactly the same way I did about this one, but using the runes. And then you wear the runes on top of that one. Okay, it's, it's a layering, so you have to put one, then the other, then the last one. And that's the way that it'll show up in SL. But this is the advanced way, if you really wanted to. If you like some of the runes and you don't want necessarily all of them, but you also want the gradient and you only want to wear one body, or you're trying to condense it because you have a very complex avatar, this is a good way to do it. I've selected the body, I've done edit, select face. You'll see here that I have now a kind of ghost outline of the whole entire body selected. Mesh basically has faces. You can select all of these. So if I click here, you can see the upper torso here, and you can see the portion that I have selected. Let's say that I want all the runes that are on the chest, but I don't want the ones that are on the arms, because I have the gradient using the arm space right now. I can hold down the shift button and select all the faces that are important to the runes that I want. Most of the back is already selected. Let's do some more of the back. You can select as much or as little of this as you want, and you can obviously redo this again if you need to, if you didn't select enough or if you selected too much. At this point, it's just a little bit of messing around with where the runes are and where and which ones you want to appear on the same piece. So I'll show you. If you do texture here, why does this keep going back to that folder? All right, and then rune tattoos. So now you see, I selected too little here. These runes get cut off, but you see, this selects the entire arm there. So maybe I don't want to select that right there. Whoop, I pressed uh, I pressed Control instead of Shift. There we go. We'll do that. So instead of doing the whole entire thing there, we'll just do up to the little shoulder blades. And let's try that. Gradients and the runes. Okay. You get the idea, though. So you could unselect those two spots there. I tried when I created these to make sure that most of the runes were on the face area so that users wouldn't have to go crazy trying to figure out exactly where everything was. Um, but there is a little bit of trial and error involved with this, unfortunately. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, now this doesn't want to hang on a second. There we go. Alright, so select the runes one more time. Alright, so see, so now this is just the chest runes, and I think it selected part of the pack? No, it didn't do part of the pack. Okay. So, if I take this now, there we go. Sometimes it's easier to just grab the hands, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, copy that so I know where to find it. Grab you and take you by the hand. All right, and then let me just put this on. I have two of these now because they're both named the same thing. It's okay, made a copy. There we go. So now you can see I've got both the runes and the gradient on the same layer. And then if, now keep in mind since they're all on the same mesh, if I make this glow even a little bit, everything is going to glow. The runes and the hands and everything like that. 
but hopefully this gave you a better idea of how to edit your kimono and use the gradient and the runes a little better. Um, hopefully this clarifies some of the confusion that has been brought up, understandably so. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy modding.